Have you ever felt like someone's watching you? Or have you ever felt kind of the sensation of just being loved? Like somebody's here just like giving me a warm hug. We think it's our angels. Or just we're surrounded energetically by support. Have you ever felt that? I have. I've actually felt touches. I've felt all kinds of like I've had all kinds of interesting supportive sensations. Previously, I had attributed that for the most part to my divine emissaries. Now I know, or at least I consider, what if that's future crystal? Thinking about now, Crystal, in my moment of suffering and just giving me a hug. And when I was a kid and I had those moments of self-awareness and moments of feeling like I wasn't alone and I didn't know why, moments of feeling like maybe there was somebody in the room with me, maybe it scared me a little, but I didn't understand. What if it was me? Because I just thought about that little girl right now. We can time travel people. We can already do that through the consciousness. We can travel the timelines to the future us. Future us can travel to now us, past us. We can travel to past us and we can love past us. We can also give solutions to past us. We can speak them into existence. We can provide opportunities just through the imaginal chamber. We can give liberation to the past us who still exist, by the way, because all these timelines are happening simultaneously. It's just that we're in 3D reality and we're thinking things happen in a linear progression, but outside of 3D reality, all of these things are happening at once. And you can send these transmissions of possibility and love and assurance to your past self and past self will receive it. Past self will receive it. And often past self will respond to it. And even now, as you have a vision for yourself and what you wanna create and who it is that you want to become, Create a symbol of yourself in your mind. What do you look like in five years when you've achieved this thing? What do you look like in 20 years when you've established yourself in this way? According to your blueprints, highest version for yourself. What does that look like? You don't have to have all the specifics. It's not about that. It's about being able to hook into a period of the future on your timeline so that you can pull that energy into yourself now so as to be magnetically drawn to that higher version. Are you catching what I'm talking about? Identifying where you are on the future timeline at your most successful, the highest version of yourself, according to the highest version of your soul's purpose, urge, and blueprint, and communing and rendezvous rendezvousing with that version of yourself can fill you up now and put you on the right path. And also... You can send your love to that future you who needs all the love that she or he can get. We are powerful. How about that? We are just powerful. There's so much that we can do. We got to get out of the slave mind. Matrix, Borg, resistance is futile. Life sucks. Earth sucks. Nations suck. Politics suck. People suck. We got to get out of this mindset because we're creating from that. That what you point your interest at grows. Turn off your television. Turn off the negativity. Turn down the people who are gossiping or who are backbiting or who are abusing you. And turn your focus on that which you truly want to create for yourself because it's all within reach. It's all within you. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? It's true. Help me continue to create ad-free spiritual content by supporting me on Patreon. Depending on the tiers selected, you can receive one free lesson a month or access to a live Zoom meetup where members receive intuitive readings, attunements, and more. Every dollar really does help. Now, on to the video.